Hello, this is Andrew with Eclipse Drawing. Today we actually have something for you, and it is our chives, our green onions, our spring onions, our bunching onions, whatever you may want to call them. Uh, we actually have planted them already, um, and we wanted to show you the germination process. Now, some of these are actually kind of interesting, uh, and we did use the Jiffy Seed Starter Kit for these, uh, just to see how well it did. Now, I did plant these on the 22nd, and it is now currently March 3rd. So it has been a minute. Sorry, I actually found that I may have dropped a seed. Uh, so anyways, here is our bunching onion, our green onion. Now we have a lot of things. Now actually what I ended up getting distracted by uh, was this little piece right here. I got something in between the beds right here. Now, uh, don't, not 100% sure why that's there, but it is. So, um, interesting, fun. Um, so, with this particular stuff, we're actually hoping that this is completely done uh, within the next few weeks. I believe uh, this actually uh, germinates and is harvestable roughly in the same time period our radishes are, and that's 22 days. Um, now... I find this quite amazing that they were able to germinate so quickly, so fast, and we do have several bunching. Now, I did uh, do a couple of experiments with this. Uh, not really experiments per se, but just to kind of see what's, what's going to happen. Uh, now, if you notice, I did put quite a few in, a, in, in, in these uh, seed starters uh, just to see, just to double check and make sure my germination rate is going to be, you know, on par. Now, and then you see some of these, I actually only planted uh, one or maybe two, um, just to see, kind of get a feel for how many of these seeds I should be planting. Um, in another video that I did, uh, we went ahead and showed you the radishes, and only one of them did not germinate. Um, now, in this particular case, every single one of them germinated. I even have a single plant in the middle of everything, which I think I dropped. So. Um, but we will see uh, when this actually gets full grown and uh, when we can actually harvest it. Uh, shouldn't be too crazy long. Um, I do know that as far as onions are concerned, onions, garlic, um, are all relatively related, cousins of each other rather. Um, with onions, they do need a little bit more water generally. Um, and this goes with any vegetable that's water-based. Uh, so you have tomatoes, they don't like huge variation of water. And that's specifically because almost the entire thing is going to be water. So if you fluctuate really bad with the water, with watering and you water uneven, it's a lot of times why you get splits and whatnot. Um, with these, I'm not 100% sure what we're going to be expecting with these, but as long as we keep it evenly watered, um, and I, I want to say uh, moist, but not wet, uh, then we're going to end up having very, very beautiful uh, green onions. Should be a beautiful thing to harvest. And uh, when that happens, uh, we will actually be doing a video on that. Um, now, there is one thing that I don't know about. Um, I don't know how exactly they leave. Um, I want to say it's going to be similar to garlic, where it actually throws up the singular leaf, as it's doing now. And as it does that, it sprouts another from there and another, and it just does it in layers. Um, but as it does that, we will get you guys updated and we can see how these grow together. Um, so if you want to join the journey, please hit the subscribe button below. And until next time, guys.